Okay, so now that we're getting into the core of the song, here's what we're going for. I'm going to give you half of that. Here's what we're going to do. And we'll stop there, actually. Um, and I'm going to divide that into three pieces. Here's the first snippet. Okay. This is on three strings. Sixth string, fifth string, and fourth string. On the sixth, we're going to be playing the third fret, the fifth fret, and the seventh. So you do the third twice. Reach up with your ring finger, play the fifth fret, and slide it to the seventh. All right? Reach up behind you to the fifth string, fifth fret. That's a transition note. And then from there, reach up to the fourth string, seventh fret, and slide it to the ninth. Three, three, five, slide to seven, reach to five, play the seven, and slide it to nine. That's the first snippet. And what I would encourage you to do is practice that snippet over and over without going to the next part. And that way you start to get the notes into your muscle memory. And you're not thinking about, what do I reach for next? It just starts to come naturally. And play it slow until you get it. And then play it faster. And then play it lighter. And then play it faster. And then after a bit, you, you're comfortable with it. And you can move on to the next snippet. Now the next, you want to plant your index finger on the seventh fret of the second and third strings. That's planted right there. 2nd and 3rd strings, 7th fret, and you're going to reach up with your pinky finger on the 2nd string, you're going to reach to the 10th fret, and then back off again. So 7, 10, 7. That's what you're going for. But instead of doing it staccato like that, you're going to just do a hammer on, pull off. Just a real quick action like that. So we had our first snippet, and then our second snippet. Okay? See, I messed up right there. There we go. I'm just reaching. I slide up with my ring finger, and I reach right up behind it to plant that finger and do my hammer-on pull-off. Okay, here's the third snippet and the final portion of this particular video. You're going to move that planted index finger. You're staying on the seventh fret, but you're going to move down one set of strings. So now you're going to be planting on the third and fourth. And you're going to do a series of reaches right here on the fourth string and then on the fifth string. But you're going to keep this planted the whole time at the seventh fret, third and fourth string. You're going to come to here, and what that is, what you're hearing is the seventh, I'm sorry, the ninth fret on the fourth string, and that planted seventh on the third string that we planted a second ago. You're going to pull away this ring finger, which exposes that seventh fret that you planted earlier.
then you're going to reach down to the 5th string at the 10th fret. That's what we're going for right there. 7, I'm sorry, 9, 7, 10, 7, 9. Let me say that slower. 9, 7, 10, 7, 9. But the whole time, that note right there, which is the 7th fret of the 3rd string, is ringing out. Does that make sense? And if you wanted to, you could pick it with your pick and your finger, like I'm doing. But more likely, you'll just pluck the whole thing. So that's the third snippet. The first one again. Second one. Third one. Right? First one. Let's do the second and third together. I'm sorry. And see, you won't be able to reach straight from here to there. So, reach down to there and go ahead and let that finger move down behind. Like that. That's the first section. <laughs>